morning everyone i hope you are all well you're probably wondering why i'm coming to you sat on the floor um with a backdrop you're probably not familiar with um but basically i thought it was about time that i started organizing um a few of baby boy's bits and um, as you know, so this I'm sat in our spare room at the moment, which is my office and where I have my clients. It's like my beauty room and tropic room. Um, so we haven't turned it into a nursery, as you know. Um, we're just having him in our room um, and then just kind of going to go with it, basically. Um, because we may be moving in a year, we're not sure. So... Um, and I don't really know what's going to happen with like work wise obviously Tropic will carry on but as far as clients I'm not sure when I will return to doing that so I just wanted to keep this for now and just kind of see what happens basically um, but we are using one half of the wardrobe that's in here so for all of his bits um, and yeah I just need to sort things out really because I showed you in a previous video that I got these um, baskets from Ikea um, and I've just popped things in but they're all still in their packaging so like his little baby grows and bits so I just kind of wanted to get a little bit more organized um, get things out hang things up properly I've got clothes on hangers here but they're the hangers from the shops and I did actually buy from Amazon if you can see in there some little baby hangers so I'm just going to get because I've got things like this that I've got a label on I'm just going to take that off and just hang it all up nicely fold things put things in the baskets that we got and just get a little bit organized um and I've got a couple of other bits to show you because my mum and dad came to see us was it last no not the weekend just gone not last weekend the weekend before so two weeks ago um they came to see us and they brought with them lots of bits my mum has literally been collecting stuff um so like little toy bits for him a little cuddly toy um i think this is for the pra oh no this is for teething little toys for teething a little rattle um and um yeah and a couple of other bits as well clothes wise and i've got this big liner here of loads of different blankets that i believe it was my nan um who's sadly not with us anymore um knitted for me when i was little um and they're all quite neutral um because my mum and dad never found out what they were having, like what gender baby they were having with any of me or my brothers. So everything's quite neutral. So I've got this little like jumper with a hood, um, this white blanket. Oh, there's two there actually. So this white blanket, another white blanket. And then there's some here that she knitted um, with like multi colours in so there's like yellow green blue pink in there and then this one is like pink and blue so yeah they smell they smell so nice um my mum's washed them all and everything like that as well so that's really handy again this like green yellow blue pink another little jumper little cardigan <laughs> so cute um so yeah I need to organize those oh another little cardigan here they literally look like dolls clothes it's crazy um so yeah i'm gonna just get organized and also something else that exciting that is happening today that i'm literally waiting for um is our pram is being delivered today so we got a bundle from mamas and papas like um we went for the okara pram um and we get the pram the baby carrier the car seat the adapters we get like a changing bag all that kind of thing um so that's going to be delivered today but obviously because i'm filming this during the week so carl is not here he's at work um, but he's actually coming back on Tuesday, uh, on Thursday this week, 
um, I'm going to pick him up because I've got the car this week because I've actually got a couple of Tropic events. One tomorrow, one on Friday, so I needed the car. And I think I might wait until he's home to like get the pram out and like have a play with it and stuff because he's just better at that thing than I am and it'll be fun for us to do together. Um, and I know he's very excited, excited about having a play with the pram. So in the meantime, I am going to start organising some of these bits and just feel a little bit more prepared. And also with organising these bits, I feel like we can then see what we've got properly and what, if anything, we need to get still as far as like clothes and bits wise, because we're trying not to overdo it um, and get too much and then waste things. Um, so yeah, I might find somewhere to prop you up and pop you on a time lapse whilst I get these bits organised. <laughs> kind of looks like organized chaos at the moment but it is a lot more organized believe it or not so in this basket I've popped all the hand knitted blankets from my that my mum brought that my nan knitted so that's gonna go that can go these can go away now so that's one I've also hung up all the clothes that I think need hanging up um and one of my friends who lives near here she had twin girls last year last summer um and she gave me well she gave me loads of stuff like all of this stuff here basically that may be the pram delivery <gasps> bear with me a second So it was the pram delivery. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting so many boxes, literally four boxes. So I think they can definitely stay there until Carl gets home on Thursday and he can do, because oh God, I'm just out of breath getting them organised there. Um, he can do all the humping and dumping and get everything out. So um, yeah, exciting. Arnie, are you excited? What is it? What's going on? What is it? So your little brother's pram. You've got no idea, have you? <laughs> is that your little brother's pram? <laughs> 
Right, where was I? Um, yes, so my friend Faye, she had twin girls last. Um, excuse me. Um, no. Down. Go on, down you go. Down. Oh, excuse my out of breath. Staked, hang on, one second, I'll come back. Once I've caught my breath. She's given me like all of this, like loads of these toys, a, like a mat, play mat. Um, and she also gave me these, which are actually really handy. So they're little hangers that tell you the sizes of the clothes. So you just pop them as like dividers. So I've got zero to three months, this one three to six, six to nine, and it, they go all the way up to 18 to 24. So yeah, really handy. She's obviously not using these ones because she gave me all of them. Um, but I suddenly realized they're really handy because when you take everything off the hangers that they come on in the shop, you can't see what the sizes are without looking at the label, which is a bit of a faff. So. I've sorted them all into each of the dividers, so we don't really have any newborn bits. We haven't bothered buying newborn bits because we are anticipating that this little guy is going to be quite big. I mean, he's measuring on like slightly big, sometimes he's measuring average. He's kind of like up and down the line when the midwife measures my bump. Um, but given that I'm 5'9", Carl is 6'4". We're anticipating we're going to have a big boy. So, we haven't really gone for newborn, but I've noticed that this outfit, this little outfit here, which I love, because I love a bit of sage green, um, from H&M. It's like a little three-piece. It's this little bodysuit, then the trousers are underneath, and then this little hat. That may have to be his coming home outfit. Um, is zero to one month so I've just popped that in the newborn bit and then this little outfit which I think Monique bought me my friend um, is first size it says on it so which I think is basically newborn so I've popped that in there so at least then we make sure he wears these things before he grows out of them if he's not already grown out of them whilst he's been in here um, and then we've got lots of zero to three months so I'm pretty sure we don't need any more of that um, and then this is three to six we've got a couple of um, second hand bits and then we've got this onesie and then this little cardigan that my mum bought I think this is from Mamas and Papas, is it? No, this is actually from M&S, but this will be perfect. A nice little knitted cardigan um, because three to six months, it'll be winter. Um, so that'll be perfect. And then we've got this six to nine months. Again, a second hand little onesie that we got um, as well. So we're good for zero to three months, I think, because we also have this one, which I've put together which has got muslins in we may need another pack of those i think because i'm pretty sure we're going to get through these quite a lot and they're going to get dirty very quickly um so yeah maybe another pack of those and then all these are little baby grows like uh they're all either short sleeved or like sleeveless and arnie you're a little monkey you're not allowed up here you don't come upstairs he hears me talking and just has to be involved. If I don't shut the living room door, he sneaks himself up. Um, so yeah, these are all little sleeveless or short sleeved and legless little onesies, bodysuits, vests, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> and we've got quite a lot of those. We've got like plain white ones, blue ones, one beige ones some little patterned ones there's quite a lot of those and they're all zero to three months as well and then bibs and then i've only got one pair of socks so i've been watching a couple of youtube videos of other girls that are currently pregnant at the same time as me like megan grubb is i think she's like a month ahead of me she's literally a, i think her due date is like this week ruby holly is literally i think <laughs> her due date is very similar to mine um and 
lots have got I've been buying like little socks but I don't really understand the need for little socks so if anybody would like to enlighten me because if I need them then I need to get some more because I've literally only got this one pair um I mean I understand it going into winter when it's going to be cold but he's going to be born we think in August so um I can't imagine he's going to really need socks but let me know obviously I'm new to this so yeah um and I think I told you, yeah, I've got quite a few bibs down there as well. So I think we're good for those for now. If we need more than when he's here, we can get those. So this one can actually go away. In here. And then this one here, I've just popped sort of bits and pieces in. So we've got this little tropic bamboo towel for him for when he gets out of his baths. I've got the little Rory baby oil. I'm just waiting on the nappy cream to come back in stock and I'm gonna get that. Um, my mum gave me these. She had them at hers from, I guess, my nieces or nephews. So, um, yep, she gave me those and we bought the other day, we popped into boots and we got some cotton pads and these books I've shown you in a previous previous video that I got from a second hand like market specifically for children. So that can go away for now. And then this fourth one is kind of miscellaneous at the moment. These are bits for me um, that we just picked up again in boots the other day. I'm not really sure exactly what I need. But these are like disposable, just throw away big knickers. So <laughs> I thought they might come in handy. I got some like pads as well. So this is kind of a free one because these will come out and go in my hospital bag or go in the bathroom or something. So for now, that's just a spare really. And then this is the bag of toys. My mum bought these for the pram and this one. Oh, and these teething little things here. But all this other, all these other bits, my friend kindly gave me. So for now, I think until we know, I don't even know what this is. Where does that go? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Anybody else want to enlighten me? <laughs> um. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm just gonna leave that in the bottom. That's one of Carl's work bags i'm just gonna leave that in the bottom but i think already that's a lot more organized than it was i've got all this rubbish here from the clothes and muslins and things that to get rid of the other thing that i would like to show you these are basically fitted sheets for moses basket which I haven't shown you on YouTube yet, so I think we'll go next door. Been a couple more updates to our bedroom. Um, I've shown you when we painted, so I've shown you the green, the new green on the walls, but we've now bought a new duvet. Um, and yes, I know it looks far too big for our bed because it is. We basically bought um, a Super King duvet because we do want to get a Super King bed eventually when we've got the money. Um, so we thought rather than buying just a double duvet um, and duvet covers and everything and then having to refresh all our bedding again, we thought we'd just buy a duvet that was bigger than our bed. So, and actually it's so nice to sleep in, but this bedding that we've got is from Dunelm. It's their, um, what you call it? Dormer range. And it's this botanical print. I absolutely love it. We've got the pillowcases as well. We have, so we've got our new duvet, but we haven't got new pillows yet. And I definitely want new pillows. Um, but that'll probably be a next month thing. <laughs> Um, and then you've obviously seen the cot um, and at the moment I've just popped these in there because I want to keep these in here I'm gonna put them back in in a second but these pillows are just extra pillows that I sleep with so I've just been putting them in here because um, I don't actually i would never actually bought myself a pregnancy pillow I've just been using these that are from the um, day bed in the spare room and I've been getting on absolutely fine with that, so it saves us a bit of money. Um, but yeah, I just brought these in because I thought these would be quite cute to pop in here. 
um, for now. We also got, my mum and dad bought, bought little man this, a little sleeping bag. It says hello world and a cute little elephant on it. I thought that was really sweet. And that should last him up until he's about six months old. Here is his Moses basket. And this is really special because this is the Moses basket that I slept in when I was a baby. And I can't believe my mum has kept it for 35 years. Bearing in mind, my dad was in the army for 30 years. They moved every two to five years. So even my mum has carted this around everywhere that they've been, every move. It's been around the world, <laughs> quite literally. Um, so yeah, and it's in such good condition. And when you look at the Moses baskets in like mamas and papas and places like that, they look pretty much the same. It's like a wicker basket underneath. They haven't changed much in 35 years. So I was really chuffed that um, my mum had this and we can keep it. And you can take all this white frilly bit off, but my mum washed it and she was like, I don't know if you want the frilly bit. And I was like, yeah, I love the frilly bit. Um, so we've got that. Um, and then, yeah, this mattress inside, which I can put one of those sheets on. Um, but yeah, I think this is so special that our son gets to sleep in the same little bed that I slept in. I don't know if you can see that or hear it, but it's raining and I have to say, I am absolutely loving this cooler weather. I, yeah, I, I wouldn't usually say that because I do love a bit of sunshine in the summer, obviously, um, and love wearing summer dresses and all that kind of thing. However, this year is slightly different and this cooler weather, oh, is just such so needed <laughs> i even had a cardigan on this morning as you saw i've taken it off now because i've got a bit hot and bothered moving things around but um i'm absolutely loving this hi everyone i have a confession to make it is two days later than when i last spoke to you when i was organizing all the baby bits i had an event yesterday which i think i mentioned um, a tropic event um, with Royal Berkshire Charity. Um, I had a stand with them at Englefield House, which was beautiful, um, but it was a long day. I literally left the house at half 10 in the morning, and then I think I got home just after six. For me at the moment, that's a long day. <laughs> um, and I was absolutely shattered when I got back. I literally unpacked my skincare bits that I obviously needed <laughs> to do my skincare routine um, and used this morning and last night and then I just left everything else because I have another event tomorrow anyway and I literally could not keep my eyes open I had some dinner and then I literally was in bed for nine o'clock and I could have gone to bed earlier but I was trying to keep myself up um, and today even though I slept pretty well, I only woke up for a wee, <laughs> like twice, which is pretty good for me at the moment. And um, yeah, I slept, apart from that, I slept pretty solid, but I'm still absolutely shattered today. I guess it's that third trimester. Tiredness has truly hit. Um, so I've just been chilling today. I haven't really been doing much at all. Um, and um yeah just resting up for my other event that i've got tomorrow um but i am just about to go and collect carl because um he's working at rise norton and we only have one vehicle talking about vehicles i have an update kind of sad but we got rid of the van i know I feel like I've just dropped a bombshell in the middle of this video but as much as we didn't want to get rid of it and we love our van trips and we are sad not to have it anymore and have those trips to be able to look forward to we just felt like probably for the next year we're not going to get the use out of it that we would want with a newborn and we thought it would probably be best to just swap it for a car because 
I think I told you before, but I got rid of my Mini before Christmas because I work from home all the time. I rarely need a car these days. Um, so we just had the van was our one vehicle, whereas having a baby, although it would be achievable, um, we just don't think we're going to get the use out of it. So we've swapped it and we now have a car again. Um, Carl has had this car before, not this exact car, but it's a, a Kia Sportage. I'll show it to you perhaps when I get back. Um, so it's it's big enough for a dog and a baby and us two, and it's just a practical decision, basically. Head over heart, I think. Um, and yeah, so I'm... And so we only have one vehicle because obviously I needed this car for my event yesterday um carl i dropped carl off on sunday at bryce norton so i'm going to get him now um and bring him home and then we are going to sort the pram and car seat and all that kind of stuff out this evening so we can put the car seat in the car i'll probably show you then actually the car and um get the pram up. I know Carl is very very excited for sorting the pram out so we will do that tonight and we'll show you exactly the pram that we got and yeah so I think that's the update but this is kind of how my weeks go at the moment when I have a full-on day I'm just wiped out for the, the next day. I'm officially 35 weeks today um so just five weeks to go potentially a couple more potentially a couple less who knows anyway i'm going to stop yabbering on because i can see that i've been going on for five minutes now and i am going to go and collect my husband and get home and sort more baby bits out <laughs> here he comes hello are you excited nervous. Why? Might not be able to put it together. You've been excited, you've been telling me all week how excited <laughs> you've been for putting this pram together. Mm. I enjoy putting flat pack furniture together so... Well this is your little boy's house basically. When he's His on the wheels. go. His wheels, yeah. Mm. It was more expensive than my first car anyway. Changing bag? That's heavy. I haven't got anything in it yet. <laughs> right. I think the best thing to do is to pop you on a time lapse, pop you on the side on a time lapse while we suss out what's in. There's four boxes all together, that's the first box. Three more to go. I don't know which one to start with. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the classic. I'd start with the pram, that's going to be the biggest one, isn't it? It's going to be obviously the other two boxes. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. I usually am. Mm -hmm. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. Is that not fasten? Oh, that might be to there. What is that one for? Honestly, working on aircraft's easier than this. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So it's just a little bit stiff because it's, it's new. Stiff, yeah. Yeah. Good to go. Show us what you were doing a minute ago. Can't as irresponsible as a father. <laughs> <laughs> 
can't forget this. This is this is where my smoothies are going to be going when. Uh... And my boiling hot coffee. I'm joking. <laughs> no. Smoothies or water only. Oh, that was easy. Go either side and all, depending on. Will my Stanley Cup fit in it? It's behind you. We take the promo. Perfect. It suits you. You've got to remember, you're going to have a bruiser in there that's going to yeah, yeah, weigh it down yeah. a bit. <laughs> a <little> lump. <laughs> yeah. Here is said little lump. <laughs> Arnie, what is it? Arnie! What is it? He's not bothered. No, he's not. That's good. Might be when there's a crying baby in it. Yeah. Good point. So, Carl, who's behind the camera. That's me. <laughs> has cleverly put this all together, haven't you? Yep. There was a bit of confused looks. And head scratching. Yeah. But you got there. You said it wasn't as hard as it initially looked, didn't you? No, there isn't much putting together. It's just knowing where the clips are and yeah. how to fold it all the way. Yeah. So we've got our pram, the carry cot. Then there's this adjustment or attachment, isn't there? It's like so, a stroller adjustment. Uh, yeah, so maybe when he's a little bit bigger. Um, so we've got that. We've got this, which is the changing bag, which converts into a rucksack, because I hear that rucksacks are better, more functional, because obviously you can be hands-free. So we've got that. And then we've also... Are these the car seat adapters? Yep. We've got a rain cover. Because we will be going into winter very quickly. What's this for? Possibly the car seat. Oh yeah. And then this. What's this for? That's for the stroller mm -hmm. attachment. The oh. bit, the bigger one. Oh, okay. What, well, it goes in it? I think so, yeah. You know more about this stuff than I do. So they're the, they're the bits that we've got in this bundle. We've gone for the Okara pram, which is a mama's and papa's own, because they had 40% off when we ordered it, which made a massive difference, didn't it? And this colour was in, the, in that 40% off. We really liked a dark green one that they did, but we weren't prepared to spend an extra £500 just for a green pram. Um, and also within the bundle, but still in the box, because we're going to have dinner, I think, first is the car seat so we'll do that after dinner shall we yeah i'll film that after yeah i'll put it in the car i was going to show them our new car i told them we got rid of the van all right okay we'll do that after when i put that seat yeah. in um but yeah we are officially ready now now he's got some wheels hasn't got alloys though <laughs> smooth though isn't mm. it should be for that um, bloody price <laughs> Yeah, although we got like five hundred pound off it, it was still like a thousand pounds. So, do you like it, Arnie? What do you think of it, Arnie? Do you like it? He doesn't seem too phased by it, though, does he? So no. When he was younger, he used to be scared yeah, of prams, but it seems fine. But I think if we leave it in here, so he gets used to it. Yep. Then, hopefully, when there's something wriggling and making a noise in there, he'll be okay still. So. Suits you. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Don't You know I'm going to. <laughs> so here we go. Here is a glimpse of our new car. Um, and Carl, whilst I've been on a Tropic training live, Carl has been busy look at that how weird this is the car seat that we got with the bundle that we got how cute as if we're gonna have a little one sat in there that's so bizarre we've been saying whilst we've been driving some days like how weird is it gonna be when we look back and there's like a baby in the back well, we're nearly there. We've got the car seat now. Yeah, crazy. 
but Carl said he had to put it behind the passenger seat because when Carl drives, because Carl is six foot four, um, this is how far back he has the chair. So um, apparently there wasn't enough space for the car seat this side. So little man has to go over there behind me. <laughs> so we can't have anybody taller than probably about six two in the in the passenger seat. Or if they do, they're going to have their knees knees squashed up against the front <laughs> but um yeah or i guess if i'm driving and carl's in the passenger seat which to be honest rarely happens um if we're together carl is usually driving um then we'll just have to swap it but how bizarre oh it's all becoming very real now oh <sighs> well it's just gone eight o'clock now carl has actually because i was on like i said i was on a tropic training live facebook live um and um carl has just taken once he's done the car seat he's just taken arnie over on um a field for a bit of a run out and a bit of a walk so i haven't taken him today um i think they're just back um so yeah i'm gonna oh yeah they are here he comes here he comes arnie i mean not carl <laughs> um but yeah, I'm going to go take my makeup off because, yeah, it's gone 8 o'clock. So I need to go and do my evening skincare routine, get my pyjamas on because usually I'm in my pyjamas by now. <laughs> um, and chill out for the rest of the evening, probably for another hour and then I'll be in bed. Um, because, like I said, I've got... Did you just burp? Oh, not Ronnie. <laughs> Pardon you? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah because I've got another Tropic event tomorrow at Royal Berkshire Hospital so it's going to be another long day and then I'm at my friend's Hendu have I mentioned that in this video? it's my friend's Hendu on Saturday in Norwich so it's going to be another long day on Saturday um, so I'm going to leave this video here thank you very much for watching as always I hope you've enjoyed a few little updates with regards to baby boy's arrival and us getting ready for it but even with just the pram and the car seat now I feel like whatever happens now at least we can bring him home <laughs> we've got clothes for him to wear we've got nappies for him to wear what what more does he need we've got a Moses basket for him to sleep in anything else that we may need we can deal with when as and when can't we mm -hmm. Do you feel ready? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like I've got everything. Yeah. But hopefully he keeps cooking for another couple of weeks, at least until I'm officially full term. Tell you about your baby shower. And my baby shower in a couple of weeks. We're leaving it very late, I know. So yeah. hopefully he waits until after that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop me a comment down below because I love reading your comments and getting back to you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Silly. <laughs>